Hey guys, Mr. Laxton here. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing on with their beginner projects. And what we're going to be making today is a emoji coaster. Um, and this is going to be teaching you guys how to effectively use an image in Autodesk Inventor. Now, um, you might be thinking, this is an engineering program. Why might we want to use images in there and trace them and stuff like that? We can use Illustrator. Um, well, the beauty of this is we can overlay those images onto the products that we're making into this. Um, and it, and thus putting, say, your logo on something or a scene that you like onto it. Um, and so what we're going to be doing today, though, is the very, very basic beginner stuff. I'm just making an emoji coaster. So um, we're going to be going metric, standard millimeters, and create. Um, and it's really important. So um, you think about these things before you do them. So if, say, we're trying to do something really basic today. Um, and so when we look at our emotes, right, I've chosen this emoji here. Now, why I've chosen that. See, it's got the glasses, right, and they've got quite detailed shapes um, as well as the mouth mouth isn't exactly a straight line it's got some curves there that I need to trace so it is going to show you some skills there um, but importantly is nothing's overhanging the edge so I can do a simple circle and then trace these onto my coaster um, so if we go back up to come on inventor go back onto inventor that's struggling to load clicked on it too many times now Cool, there we go. Um, we'll wait for this to respond, but so when you're picking that, so I'll actually show you some other ones that, so kids in the past have, say, chosen um, this one with the tongue. Okay, now if you have a look at this picture, um, it's easy enough to trace the eyes and the outside of the mouth, but then the tongue's overlapping the mouth, and so you'd actually have to go through and you'd actually have to draw a mouth afterwards and then extrude it upwards and also draw an added bit on the bottom there. It's not a simple circle, so. We'll see if this is responding yet. Awesome. So it's just loading up. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is doing our circle. So if we go start 2D sketch up in the top left hand corner when it's loaded and stopped being grey. So after we've done that, we're going to be choosing the top plane. And then like usual, we're going to be flipping this around to make the square up the top here, the cube, sorry, um, saying top the correct way around. So there we go. Um, and then like I said before, we're going to create a simple circle in the middle, dragging it out, um, and we're obviously not going to make a coaster for a drink, be 347 millimeters in diameter, okay? What we're actually be doing is making it 80 millimeters in diameter, and then hopefully you guys remember, so once that's created, what we can do to make it the right size so we can see it better is clicking on this one up in the top right hand corner there, okay? So now we can go up the top left hand corner and go 3D model. And then we're going to extrude this. Um, and now this being a coaster, we're only going to extrude at 5 millimeters. So um, we obviously don't need it being too thick. And then we can go OK. So we've got our very basic outline ready to go. So now what I want to be doing, I'm going to be sketching. So I'm going to be tracing my drawing onto this section here. So if I left click and then go to the far right option, which is Create Sketch. And then in the sketch menu, you guys might have noticed before in some other videos, there's the image icon up here. So if I click on insert image, and then all I'll do is I'm going to go to my desktop, because that's where I saved my picture. Emoji sunglasses, open. Alright, and we'll place it there. Now, something those with a, even, even not a very keen eye will notice, she's a bit big. Okay? Uh, and this is really, really simple to fix because you've got these points on it, just like any other image that you can drag together and move it and get it sized up correctly. Okay, so once you've done that, all right, I've now made it too small. So what you're trying to do, though, is you're actually trying to just judge from the yellow outside area of the emoji. And the beauty of it being a circle is it doesn't actually matter how much. You see, I've got it pretty good there. So I'm happy with that. But it doesn't matter if, say, you've turned this slightly on angle or something, because it's circular. So no matter what, you can turn it to be the right way and be happy with it. So there we go. Um, so now, we know the outside edge is lined up with a circle, because we were looking on the back side. Okay? And on the, the pictures that you insert, um, they're all going to be transparent, so you can see them from both sides, which is really, really uh, beneficial when you're trying to line it up with something. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is now tracing the glasses. Um, and now this is quite a simple process. So what you guys want to be doing though is wanting to be using the arc tool. 
um, because none of these glasses or generally the parts that you're going to be tracing aren't actually going to be straight lines. So um, what you're going to want to do there is actually zoom in quite a way so that we can see when different arcs start and finish and things. You see how with, with that I get quite a good arc and following what um, I'm trying to trace. So I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. So we're coming up. I'm happy with it there. And then when you zoom out, you can see that you've got really close. So it's really good like that. Um, so we're going to quickly trace this. And you can do little, so if you do little arcs, it's also a lot more, um, you can be a lot more accurate, which is good. Uh, I think that's actually even just a straight line there, but arc tool's not going to work. So um, I just went through saying how there's not too many straight lines, and then I come across one. So there's one there, and we'll use the arc tool. So it does take a little bit of time though. So trying to get this all smooth um, and looking natural does take a little bit. So you need to try to be a bit patient with this. Um, so what I'm going to do though, so you don't have to be really patient by video, is I'm going to finish tracing this. Um, I'll do the mouth and the glasses, and then I'll come back to you after. A few moments later. Okay, so here we are, back in a little bit. Um, and you can see here that I've got my glasses trace and I've got my uh, mouth trace as well. So what you'll notice though is also you might have thought, oh, it's going to be really easy just to do one arc all the way across the mouth. But generally with these photos, it's not just a clean arc all the way across. It's actually quite like abnormally shaped. Um, so what you guys are going to actually have to do is probably do it in multiple arcs. So what we can do now though is um, if I right click and go OK to get rid of the arc tool, I can click on this photo and press the delete button and you can see I've got my outline there. Um, and this will be really good actually to show you. If, if this doesn't work, it'll be kind of a good demonstration if it does work. Hey, it's a, it's a positive, but um, sometimes if you try to extrude these different images, um, see how those two lines went dark green? If they don't go dark green, that means you haven't made a connection. So it's always really important when you hover over connecting a line from one line to another, it shows that bright green dot, and that means that it's actually going to connect properly. So if I click on these two shapes, though, so I've just clicked in the middle there, um, and if I go to the side, you can see how they're going up 5 millimeters. I don't actually want them to come up. Um, I want, so say if I'm going to put a drink on a coaster, I want it to be sitting flat. And also, um, it's going to be a good way of, um, <clears throat> sorry, it's going to be a good way of um, me saving material. So I don't have to have the glass and the mouth coming up and wasting plastic. So I can like, yeah, use a little bit less plastic. It's still going to look the same. Um, I'm cutting it 2.5 millimeters in. So if I go OK, and it's halfway cut in. So there you go. And you can see how that looks really, really it looks really good. So that's really turned out really good. I'm happy with that. Um, and then the final thing, because um, if you go to Renella Race College and you're in my class, I'm going to 3D print this for you. So make sure you go File, and then down to Print, the arrow next to Print and send to 3D printing services. So, And always checking options and double checking that you've actually got it in the right measurement. So double checking in millimeters uh, and then going OK. And that way you can save it. OK, so hopefully uh, this has helped you guys out. And we're going to be moving on to our next project, uh, which is going to be, I think we're moving into our advanced projects even. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the uh, tri-square. So cool, see you in the next video.